What's up YouTube, it's your boy Junior, AKA Semi, and welcome to Semi2 Tech, the channel that brings you everything from product reviews, tech reviews, app reviews, all the way to live streaming and live gaming and everything else in between. So if you like all that stuff plus more, then stay tuned to this channel. And before we get started with this great new video, if you haven't done so already, right here, the subscribe button right here, click on that. And once you click on that, you make sure you click right next to it, the little bell right here, enable bell notifications so you get notified for every single video I come out with and or anything I come out else I come out with. As well as don't forget to like the video there and share it to your all your social media platforms. Hey guys, are you looking for some awesome and great IPTV service? Then come and check out falcontv.me. Look at this great website layout, it's looking so awesome. And look, planning starting as low as $20 a month for three connections. And they also offer free trial, guys, by clicking right up here, you get a free trial. But wait, there's a lot more than that. Let's go ahead and over to the app so you can check it out. And look at this great app. Look at all these channels available, guys. Look at all these channels available. And you have this great looking app. What more can you ask for? All right, guys, thanks for coming back. I do appreciate all the love and support you guys showed the channel. Remember, when I continue supporting the channel, all you gotta do is like all my videos, share my videos, comment on all my videos, and if you still haven't done so, hit the subscribe button and enable bell notification so you get notified every time I drop great videos like this one or when I go live. And trust me, guys, you never ever wanna miss a thing. All right, guys, so today's video is gonna be a very quick, easy tool you could use for your setup at home. As you see, this is my second setup. I have it right next to my bed because I had no other place to put it, so I put it next to my bed. And as you can see, it's just one piece, one tower and one monitor. That's all it is. I got nothing else. But there's times that I need a second monitor when I'm doing stuff. I want to go and buy another monitor for two reasons. Why? Because I don't have the space. That's the main reason. Second, this is just a secondary PC. This is nothing special for right now. Later on down the road, I'm gonna need a second monitor, but I'm gonna have more space and I'm gonna go, actually gonna be using it a lot more. But for people that don't have the budget to buy a second monitor or don't wanna get a second monitor, they like the single monitor setup, but they only use a second monitor for once in a the blue, then this tutorial is great for you. All right, let's say you have a single monitor setup. You're all set. Now, you, you need to do something like, let's say you want to stream and you all, you need a second monitor at this time, but you don't have a second monitor, so what are you gonna do? All right, I'm pretty sure everybody has this in their home, maybe you don't, but if you do, you just grab one of these. It's a tablet. Android or iOS, this all works. I'm using my old tablet, because this also works perfect for me, because I don't need a set, big second monitor if I'm streaming on this, or I need to second monitor just to monitor some things so this will be perfect so this is a ipad 2 this came down came out in 2012 or 11 something like that i forgot what year it came out but this is old i don't even use this anymore like i found it in my drawer in my storage of all electronics i'm like wait maybe i can use this as a second monitor for this when i'm streaming great idea so for, so if you want to connect this or any other tablet whether it be ios like i mentioned or android I'm gonna show you how to use this as a second monitor for free. Yes, you heard this correct, for free. So all you're gonna need is a tablet, if you already have one, if you don't, then you shouldn't be watching this video. But if you have a second tablet, you, you wanna use it for streaming once in the blue, all you gotta do is download our app here, install software here, and you're all set. And make sure you have the cable available to hook it up to the computer. And then that's it. And I'm gonna show you the software we're gonna be using. All right, so the software we're gonna be using is gonna be the same one we're gonna use on the tablet as an app and on the computer. And this is from the company Splash Top. So Splash Top software on the tablet is gonna be Splash Top X Display. I'm gonna show you what the icon looks like so you guys can see. So icon right there. You see there's a monitor and then there's like a tablet or phone icon there. So it's basically saying you're using an extension right there. All right. And now I'm gonna go ahead and use it. I'm gonna bring it up on my computer so you guys can see what I'm talking about. All right guys, so right here, I'm gonna go ahead and bring up the website. And that's the website right there. The only reason I'm doing it this way because it's easier for me to do it instead of trying to screenshot it and show you everything like this. So basically, as you can see, they have a Mac version and they have 
a PC version. So all you're gonna have to do is download the PC version. If you click download, open it up here, open it up and then let it install. It's giving me the option to install it and you just follow the prompt to install it. I already have it installed. I'm gonna cancel this right here because we don't need this. And once you install it, then you all set up on the PC side. You don't have to do anything else on the PC side. So now what we're gonna do is, we're gonna hook up the iPad to the computer. And so I have a cable already ready. As you can see, there's a cable right there next to the mic. I'm gonna bring it closer so you guys can see. See, that's the 32 pin cable for the iPad. Cause it is an iPad too. So let me go ahead and get myself situated on front of the computer and show you how everything works. All right guys, so I have my tablet here. I'm gonna plug it in. Once it's plugged in, you can set it down however you want. If you have a mount, you can put it on a mount, whatever you want to do. I'm going to open up the app. And as you can see, it's popping up here. The iPad is attached, so you're good there. So, you know, sometimes you'll get a notification on your iPad telling you you need to trust the computer. Go ahead and trust it because sometimes if you don't trust it, it's not going to work. Um, or your tablet is going to ask you to get permissions to connect with each other. Just give it the permissions. You're all set. You open up the app here. And it's going to connect. It connects right away. It displayed right down here. It says Wire X Display. It showed up right in the bottom. I don't know if you saw that fast enough. But it showed up there. As long as you install the program on the computer. And you run it for the first time. You open it. Just let it run in the background. You all say you don't have to do anything else. So as you see, my iPad changed. So when I click on the app, it shows. Let me bring it closer. Let me see if I can bring it closer about. You can see the, my home screen here. Let me bring this down here. So I'm gonna bring down this website. You see my home screen there? It's the same one as right here. Same one. So before you move, start moving anything, I always suggest double check your app. So we're gonna open up an app. I'm gonna open up X Display. Yeah, right there, I'm gonna open it up. And when you first open it up for the first time, you're gonna get this menu right here. You got your settings here, your advanced settings and about. The only thing I suggest you to change is the frame rate and the quality. You have three options. You got low, normal, high. I keep them high. Uh, if your computer starts acting up or fidgeting, I suggest you mess with the settings there. But if you have a decent computer, then you're fine. I keep mine as a high, and if you go in advance, it, it lets you enable auto launch. So when you turn on the computer, it launches the app for you automatically. So you don't have to keep opening it. So you're good there. We leave that there. Enable mirror mode. This basically all it's going to do is mirror whatever's on this screen onto this screen. We don't want that. So we're going to keep that unchecked. And if there's any updated servers, it'll give you the option to update it. But since it's grayed out, there's no update at this time because I just downloaded it today. All right, so we're good to that. So we're going to close this down. We don't need it. Now, after you set that up and you're done with that, you're happy. What you want to do is right click on the home screen, go to display settings, and you're going to get this menu here. I don't know why I did that for me, but whatever. So normally, you would have to d define which one is your iPad and which one's your screen. I know this is my iPad because it's smaller than the main screen. But if you don't know, just go hit identify. And I'll give you a number on each screen, which window is this? So this just shows Windows 2 here. As you see, Windows 2 right there. So however you have a display on your iPad app or your tablet, you put you put it there. I'm going to keep it here. I'm not going to get the mount. I don't need it. I can keep it right here on the desk because this is just to monitor stuff when I'm streaming if I need it. So I'll keep that one there. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to keep this right in the middle on the bottom here. So now when I hit apply, Oh, if I scroll down, my mouse goes right here. And if I go up, it goes there. So now if I go right or left, there's nothing I can do left or right because there's no monitors there. So up and down. So it acts as an extended version of the screen. So now if I run the OBS, let's say I'll open up OBS here. I think I, I loaded it down here so just to test it out. Okay, it loaded up here. You see it's loaded up here. What if, if I'm doing a live game streaming and I want to display my screen on here so I can play. I also want to be able to see my OBS. So if I need to change anything around the OBS settings, I can change it. So 
what I do is that since I have the second screen now, I can move this down here. And as you can see, this is a perfect size for me to be able to see what's going on on my OBS settings to make sure everything's running right. And another thing is I can move stuff around with the mouse, like I mentioned. But one thing that I learned while using this app, at least with this app, there's other apps you could use to do this. But with this app, I actually could move the mouse and tap things with the touch screen here. So if I move here, just to display it better, I'm gonna, I'm gonna copy my home screen on top. All right, so this is my, my live screen when I'm using um, OBS. So let's say I wanna change the live screen to my ending screen. I, I click on it, boom, it changed. I, I, did it. I didn't use no mouse or keyboard or anything. I just touched it with my hand. See my hand, I'm gonna change this screen again. A little live chat screen transition i can use the touch screen off the, the tablet to change it on there as well so this you could actually whatever you have on here you can touch screen it with the with the right tablet that's awesome guys that's really that's all i wanted to show you today i'll leave a link down below of where you can get this for your computer so you're gonna have this hopefully you enjoyed this and this review of this great app how to set up a tablet as a second monitor or even a third monitor every monitor you have this could be an extra one to the side. If you want to run little things on the side, there you go, guys. All right, guys, if you enjoyed this video and everything I had to show you today, go ahead and give me a big old thumbs up. Show me all the love and support you guys love to show the channel. Also, don't forget to hit that share button because sharing is caring. And we want to make sure everyone's aware of this great software to use as a second monitor. And also, guys, if you still haven't done so to the end of this video, make sure you hit the subscribe button and enable bell notifications so you get notified every time I drop great videos like this one or when I go live. And trust me, guys, you never, ever want to miss a thing. Until next time, this is Junior, a.k.a. Semi, signing out. Peace.